All right, guys, how's it going? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome to what is going to be the finale of Thousand Year Door. We just, we've been breezing through this game fairly quickly. Uh, uh, this doesn't show here, but we, it, we're like about 30 hours in. Hmm. And we're just ready to finish. Let's we'll say hi. Give him a little boop. As we enter chapter eight, the thousand year door. <clears throat> Finally. <laughs> hey Trap, how's it going? Ooh. Look at this place. Ugh, this place is freaky, but we don't have a choice, Mario. We've got to get in there and save Peach before this gets out of hand. Come on, Mario. Man, this looks a lot better than... Uh, in the original. Hot damn. Design looks nice. Doing all good here? Gotta hear a trap. Meanwhile, we're just gonna be just blowing through a lot of these enemies. <clears throat> Thanks to all the power rushes we have equipped. And then the battle music is just the level music. That's nice. Not bad. Excited. We're going to finish this game today. Going to start Paper Mario 64 on Wednesday. We'll do some Shining Force. Afterwards, Hundred Heroes starts Saturday. Got plenty of games. Not, not, not enough time. There's never enough time. Yeah, we don't care about these dry bones. They're dead. <sighs> So these enemies are just strong enough for us to actually fight. If they only give us one star point each. What you, what you doing there, Nina? <clears throat> Trying to... Sabotage the stream already? We just started. <laughs> Not even 10 minutes and you're already playing on Sabotage? <laughs> nah, she's, she's just chilling. Oh, but we can bump the... The gold bullet builds. <laughs> yeah. 
I really like the music in Palace of Shadows. That's a bombshell bill blaster. Fires bombshell bills. Makes sense, right? Max HP is 10, defense 4. It's really, really tough. Yeah, hard to hurt this guy. Thing is, if you don't take it out, it'll keep shoot shooting bombshell bills at you. So you gotta figure out a way to beat it and fast. Speaking of, that's a bombshell bill. These things are repeatedly shot out by bombshell bill blasters. Max HP is 3, attack is 6, defense is 2. Its attack is high, but its HP is low, so take it out before it takes you out. And then again, if you focus on these guys, you'll never win. Smack that bombshell bill blaster. And the gold makes it really gaudy. That's no good. Hmm. Right, Nina? That's right. Oh, all or nothing badge. I like that badge. And I hate it too. Because if you try to, you know, be lazy and not do an action command, uh, it does zero damage. So you actually have to do your action commands to one, get the extra damage, and two, actually damage them. And sometimes you just don't want to, you don't want to do an action command. You just want to just let it ride. Ooh, that's a close one. I don't, I don't think these these floors are OSHA approved. Gotta be careful. Uh, we might not be able to take a lot of damage in battle, but uh, these overworld stuff could kill us, and that's no good. Hold up, give me a sec, I will be right back. Hey Jim, how's it going? How you doing? Welcome. And I'll be right back. <laughs>
Okay, we're back. Yeah, had to step step out for uh, 40 moments, but we're back. How you doing, Jim? How's it going? You know, this, this guy, Mario and Goombella, look at him, taking a nap, sleeping, as if I was gone for that long. <laughs> it's going? Uh, it's one of those days. That's how, that's how the work day was for me today. It's going, but I'm glad it's done. Only to go back tomorrow for more. Ooh, none shall pass. Let those who would disturb her sleep fall into the depths of eternal darkness or endless darkness. May the intruder never find the key to this door. There he is. He, he didn't try that hard to get away. Dark bones. That's a Dark Bones. It's the baddest of the Bones gang. Max HP 20, attack 5, defense 2. When its HP goes down to 0, it'll collapse into a... It collapses into a pile, but it'll eventually rise again. Fire and explosions will put a permanent end to it getting back up, though. Its HP is high, so it's hard to take it down. Like any other Bones, it sometimes builds friends if it feels outnumbered pretty tough enemy. You better take it and its buddies out all at once. Feeling kind of icky still, but it's all good. Eh. Say la vie. It, it is what it is. If you smoke, you take a, take a puff. Life, eh? Direct attacks will be countered. Oh no. Anyways. <laughs> Just check the hammer at it. <laughs> That's why we keep hammer throw. Uh, Quake Hammer also works. But I like throwing the hammer at things. Man, that's kind of sad. Really? Oh man, you're not gonna let me do it? All right. I was gonna do the the spin so it would just hit the other one, but I guess not. I guess not. Ooh, I like the guitar. The, the riff. I've been really enjoying the music in this game. Like, I, I like what they've done. Playing too, nice. I mean, I've, I've really been enjoying the the remake, the remixes, the remake musics. It's been so far. It's been everything's been good. There are some that I like more, but that's a given. Same thing like in the original. There are songs in the OG that I like more than the other songs, but there has been one there. It's like eh, I don't like it. 
all of them have been pretty solid. But this, this one hits a lot more because it plays, it, it's the, it's, it's the level music and it also plays during battle, which I love. Man, look at all these x nats <laughs> Man, I wish I was I was this powerful in the for the pit of a hundred trials. pretty strong but we had to we had to stay in uh arrow for a lot of the time just on keel hawk key though ah uh, keel hawk is a good one though it's a good one I'm trying to remember if this this tells you the way to go. I think there's there's a there's hints. Yeah, whatever the lantern is. Just beat this and I haven't even purchased it. <laughs> oh, trap. You piece of garbage. <laughs> Lying piece of shit. the devs I think I just want to do per danger but not always peril because one hit KO is a bit much it is but we had to oh man just whenever you get the chance to see the VOD gem there were times I had to strategize getting into peril to do enough damage to take out the enemies because we did this I did the pit of 100 trials before finishing chapter 6 so we had like no access to any of it. So we had to strategize. Uh, it was it was the most grueling, but the best three hours. Because that's how long it took from start to finish to finish the pit of a hundred trials. We get out of one weird room just to find another one. It's huge. I mean, it's like an underground city, right? What is this place? Yeah, three hours. Every single floor. We saw the movers, but we we said nay. The 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 pit of a hundred trials was was a hell of an endurance uh, run. Yeah, yet the boss took like uh, 12 minutes. Yeah. 
three hours to get to the end, and the boss took like 12 minutes. We got so many levels, though. We looked out with... We found like four Amazing Daisies? <clears throat> Yeah, we, we made bank with EXP. Like, never again. Oh, I'm sorry, Nina. You want to step out? There you go. Hey, a girl. <laughs> yeah, until, until next time. Yeah, I'm, j I'm just ignoring Trap's bullshitty comments about the pit of 100 trials done at the start menu. Yeah, because we know he, he, he did that. Blindfolded. With one hand tied behind his back, the other hand playing the 3DS and cooking. Scared of the truth. Scared of, scared of no truth. All bullshit from trap. <laughs> You're right. You gotta, you gotta feed him in there. <clears throat> you gotta throw Bobbery into the into the jaws the jaws of the chump the bone tail fight was pretty fun though a couple of close calls but we we did it Then after the Pit of 100 Trials, we went to the Glitz Pit, got our, our Champion's Belt back. And then I'm like, you know what? We're done. It, if the Pit of 100 Trials drained me. But I had enough energy to go get get the champion's belt back. Uh, you done that? Hit and then and then what you call it, and then uh Idle rematch. Prince Mush wants you to defend your title. Yeah, the the first champ. I liked revisiting the the pit. Mario, look there. The, the glitz pit. Not the pit of 100 trials. <laughs> the glitz pit is the best. It's absolutely titanic. What in blazes is it? I'm intrigued by this indentation here. Why you could put something in it. Puzzling shape, though. Yeah. Who knows what you could put in there? Oh, 
And then I don't, I don't, I don't remember if I gotta do this right now. Or move on, then come back. I think we gotta leave and then come back. Because we need to do a boss fight. The boat! The boats. I love the boat. Okay, yeah, I think it's this boss fight coming up, and then we go back, and then we do another boss fight, and then we go back. Crap. Well, well, what's what's on the menu for Friday, Trap? Tekken, Street Fighter, uh, Mortal Kombat, a mix of the three. It doesn't just have to be the the one game the whole time. I got a, what do you call it? D rust on, on the fighting games, anyways. I haven't done tech. I haven't played Tekken Eight since that last time with with Zod when. When Eddie came out, I haven't touched Street Fighter 6 in longer than that, and Mortal Kombat 1 even longer. Tekken, maybe try one of the new online tournaments? Yeah, we can do Tekken. I'll, I'll have to do some, uh, some practice on tomorrow and Thursday. Yeah, so I also got to set up the retro tank for Paper Mario 64 on Wednesday. So I'll probably do that. Later after the stream or tomorrow. Who are you? That's a good question. No one's disturbed me here in eons. Who dares defile this sacred place? Now, who's this dragon, I say? Isn't that Hooktail, the thing you beat before? Yes, enormous with rather grimy toes. Yes, that's that suits this creature to a T. What? You destroyed my precious younger sister. I wondered why she hadn't written recently. Quake in fear, mortals, for I am Gloomtail. I will avenge my sister by taking your lives and then gnawing on your bones. Yeah, playing through Super Paper Mario and then Thousand Year Door Remake made, made, made me want to, you know, might as well revisit Paper Mario 64 again. <laughs> my first fresh meat in ages. Allow me to take my time and toy with you a while. Uh, there is a ROM hack of Paper Mario 64, which adds some elements uh, from which 
the ROM hack has elements from Thousand Year Doors integrated into it. So there's some more badges. You can do the stylish actions as well, which is pretty cool. I've been having I've been having fun with that. But I'll be playing the original Paper Mario. That's Gloomtail. I think he's Hooktail's brother. I see the res the family resemblance. Max HP is 80, attack is 8, and defense is 2. He'll bite or stomp you, and he may also breathe poison on you. Great. When his HP is low, he may throw in some other attacks as well. Wouldn't surprise me. Especially watch out for his Mega Breath move, because that because the word is it's gnarly. He also stores power for some attacks, so use Vivian to to hide to avoid those. Yeah, yikes, poison. Nice. No, Goombella. <laughs> Gloom tell you monster. I shall avenge her. All right, done. Avenged. No, no, is it true? Can I expire? Got your Chocola Cola? Nice. I gotta be careful when I, uh, whenever I drink soda before a stream, because then I have all the, the fizz from the soda. I have to keep clearing my throat. Hey, there it is, Starstone. Thanks, Gloomtail. Bye well, bye. Bye bye now. Bye. So long. Farewell. Off Wiedersen. Goodbye. Remember having issues with the dragons in this game? Yeah, the poison. Uh, Bone Tail has some other status ailments, like he can freeze you. I think he can freeze you. Uh, but poison is a big, good, nasty thing. The stomps. But we got the we got through it fine, just fine, fine, just fine. Like we have the Goombella here for uh, the Rally Wink after Tattle, but we then I don't need it. I think Bone Tail is where I learned you could do Danger Mario or maybe Gloom Tail. Yeah, Bone Tail. Bone Tail is when I first started using Danger Mario because Bone Tail has 200 HP. Wonder big ones. And my thought process is, well, I don't want to do the 100 trials ever again. Just once a, once a run, that's it. So I will never go in there until after chapter 6. So we can just kill everything. Yeah, like, it, if I was, you know, balancing my my badge points with my HP and FP, you know, we could probably do it, but, you know, it, it, it's going to take a while. 
But I have all the badge points in the world, so I can just destroy him. Yeah. Uh, INT Jr.'s dad is in the 18th floor. And then you just go two more floors down and you just bolt. Or keep going if, you know, you were planning on doing the all 100 floors. Like, alright, I'm gonna do the 100 floors and then I'll pick up the, uh, the kid's dad on the way. Okay, so now we can do these doors. I love I love Bobbery. Finally, you can start blasting things. The stars up in the heavens shone. The shy one hides their shape. The shy one hides their face. their shape. <laughs> I'm telling you that it's related to the history of the tower. Yeah, but Gumbella, I, I ain't too, too, too sharp in the noggin right now. I just want to beat the game. I know we got to, I know we got to go up. The trap got a good nap with that cast. Oh yeah, with. Because going down the floor, we're, we're still kind of grinding. We did get some big level ups, that's for sure. I'm gonna keep an eye on the... on the stars. Yeah, what's what's for dinner, trap? What what you got got cooking? I guess what we could do is just hop over all of them. Hold up. I think I use Vivian. There we go. See, my thought process was spring jump. I haven't done this in a while. Quesadilla's using leftover tri tips and fries, ca California burrito, but in a quesadilla. Ooh. A quesarito. I know about those, Trap. I. I had those when I was at working at Chipotle, at Chipotle. When I would get tired of just eating regular bowls or burritos, I'd make quesaritos. Or I would make a... And then I would always adjust it whenever I make a quesarito. I would like grab some chips and just crush them up before we're heating it up and then just start eating it. So now it's a crunchy quesarito. And then eventually you get bored and you're like, well, shit, now, now what else am I going to make at Chipotle? You, you eat, you eat at a place enough times. If you work there, you get bored of the, of the food. 
Carrying secrets from on high, straight on, straight onward, destroy what lies in your path. That's my kind of puzzle, just breaking things. And not so much for the thinky ones. My my brain is uh need needs some rest. It worked worked too too hard, too gooder today. <laughs> you got Miss Mouse. Nice. Oh man, I'm, when we went to the Glitz Pit with Miss Mouse. In our party, we found a, a hammer bro had a mega rush badge. But the thing was, what, what was the the condition? Oh yeah, don't use FP. And I'm like, F that, I want that mega rush badge. I might need it later. <laughs> uh, totally worth it. By skill and might engraved in stone, four stones, twin rooms, one is two, two are one. Yeah, fuck the condition. Oh, we we did get the uh, ledger partner do all the work. Oh boy, that was horrible, 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 horrible. Never again. Let me let me leave and and come back. I think we had a bad uh. I had a bad party party member too. So I was like, yeah, never never again. Uh, let's see. Flurry? Got this puzzle too. Yeah, because we can't reach that. Are any good, unless you use BP to spice them up. Yeah, none of the party members are good per se, until, yeah, you get the... Uh, badges for them. Twin room. Oh. Right, 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 right. Oops. We went this way. Yeah, it, it, it ain't gonna happen. The, the only badges I have for, for the partners are... Flower Saver P. And that's about it. That's it. That's it. They get nothing. Now we're going to have to leave this place too. Uh, but I think we have to fight these in a certain order. Yeah. Like, I think halfway into the the pit of 100 trials, I was like, I regret everything. Because we have to be at 1 HP to do enough damage. Carrying the lore of the sky, let fall the weakest, then build to the strongest. Yeah, we gotta... We gotta build them up. 
from weak to strong. Yeah, and you can't get power rush until after you finish chapter six. Yeah. It's okay, we got we got Steven, the Yosh. Almost there, you are Jim, almost there. You can just taste the OPness. It tastes good. Yeah, the first time I played the game, I didn't know about Danger Mario until after I beat it, which is good because uh, it was it was fun playing it normally. But then when you get the power rush, it's like, oh my god, I just want to beat the game. I just want to go fast. Brr. Like it feels nice bumping into like 90% of the enemies here. Since we're level 29. Here's the point where I was stuck and someone in chat suggested setting that up. It's good. It's good if you... If you're struggling, if you just want to finish the game quickly, and if you just want to have... Have fun having a broken build. I love it. Beard far and wide across the land. The unseen may yet be felt. Be it here, be it there. Darred B. Yeah, Paper Mario 64 doesn't have a broken build like that. Since you have only 30 bad points. And it's... I don't think you can do a actual danger build, but you can do... You can... You can do enough. You can still do Danger Mario, but it's more of a defensive build. Stone Survival the Celestial Spheres. All you see isn't all there be. Touch it to pass through it. Yeah, this game caps BP at 99. I thought it was 60, but I was like, no. I know you can go further. Yeah, we're almost there. So I, I had to level up FP while we were going down the the pit because I my partners I needed my partners to help me out. Uh, but once we finished, I just put everything back into BP. So we're we're almost there <laughs> again. <laughs> So the question is, are we going to hit 99? We only need three more levels. Wow. FP useful, but I want BP max and power badges galore. Yeah, and here's the thing. You can, you can get more FP by using up three BP. So it's, there you, know, there you go. Onward, onward, onward. Retreat, retreat. Oh, okay. Okay, so then that's onward and this is a retreat. Yeah, yes, all the badge points. Yeah, there we go. 
Yeah, makes sense. Onward, all the way over here. Retreat, you gotta move back. Okay. So we just need two more, two more keys. One up top, and then one down here. Oh, Man and Flurry was was the uh, MVP in the Pit of a Hundred Trials. Because every now and then we 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 uh, banked on her just blowing the enemies away with her with her gale with her gale force skill. Like, sometimes it works, sometimes it didn't, but when it works, we had, like, one enemy to deal with, or we got rid of all the enemies. Plus, we get- we still get star points when you blow them away. I don't think that was a thing in the original. Yeah, th this- this one. You gotta go back and forth. Yeah, 4 FP. That That is the thing. That's why I was leveling up my flower points. I was like, I'm gonna need Flurry to help me out every now and then. But like now with the flower save repeat, it's only going to be 2 FP. But at this point, we don't really need to use that. We're already uh, plenty strong. But you know, if you're going to do the, the pit before chapter 6, you know, that's an option. Never again. Three hours down there was was enough for me to be like, yep. Always after chapter six. Powerless was good as well. It, it give, gave us enough defense to either completely block damage or take less damage. The stars up in the heavens shone, carrying the lore of the sky, carrying secrets from on high, by skill and might engraved in stone, stones to rival the celestial spheres, seven hewn by a fell hand, feared far and wide across the land, master of shadow, queen of fear. That's not ominous at all. Oh my, it's moving. Hmm, what? Those lower levels get nasty very fast if I recall. Yes, they do, Jem. You recall correctly. It is horrible. You get some of the late chapter enemies and then some of the stronger versions of enemy types that are exclusive in the pit. What was that? Where they have high HP, high attack, and then high defense. But I also got a, got a new skill uh, only because I was doing the tattles as well. Just tattle and then run away. Tattle and run. Then you come back and just use both party members at full strength. 
or use their full turns. We, we filled up our book pretty quickly. In fact, we have 12 entries left. Yeah, so I'm, I'm sure we definitely missed a couple of enemies. We've been waiting for you, Mario. Yeah, yeah, you can just tattle and then run away. Just just like keep mashing the, the A button. <laughs> so you don't get a, you know, you don't hit a no. Professor Frankly, what are you what are you doing here? Thank you so much for opening the door for us, Mario. Yes, that was nice. Thanks to you, your do-gooder predictability, my plan is progressing very smoothly. Sis, how dare you? And what do you mean about us opening the door for you? <laughs> so you still don't see it. Ah, such fools. The Professor Frankly you were with when you opened the thousand-year door was none other than this little freak in a sheet. Uh, my name's Dupless. <laughs> the real Frankly is probably still passed out, dreaming the little dream. Poor thing. And once we get rid of you here, our plan will be nearly complete. Ready for the end, my dears. You and that traitor Vivian have a date with eternity. Gah. Gah? Gah? That's right, Slick. Eternity. Shut up, freak. Oh, okay. Right. Sorry. Yeah, Duplis is a broken shell of whatever. Try putting Duplis, but yeah, you gotta get the lowercase. It's case sensitive. I'm with Mario all the way. Today, sis, I'm gonna punish you. You hear me? Come, my sort of lovelies. Marilyn, freak sheet. Uh -huh. I said my name's Dupless. Ooh, all caps. He's angry now. <laughs> all right, my kind of lovelies. This time we take out Mario and his goon squad for good. So, if I catch you slacking, you'll be in for incredible punishment come tomorrow. Go. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Yeah, and we gotta we gotta tattle all of them. That's Duplis. He's a shapeshifter. And even turn into you once, Mario. Max HP is 40, attack 6, defense is 0. He may turn into one of us and attack. When he does, he'll have our abilities. Hey, how do you think he became one of the three shadows? Isn't that weird? How do you think he stands Beldum's abuse? Do you think he's alright in the head? Hmm. Good question. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> oh, no. Man, poor Gumbella just taking all the... the damage because Mario has all of the dodging badges.
That's Marilyn. She's Beldum's sister. Another one of the three shadows. Max HP 40, attack 7, defense 0. She'll attack you directly or use lightning. She also saves up energy for a big attack sometimes. So long as you avoid the brunt of her attack, she shouldn't be too tough. Correct. Go. Oh. Less chances to attack are now available. Rude. Just as we were about to paddle on her. Just took nine Pokeballs to catch a Machoke that had like 1% HP left. Ah, yes. The bullshit of what's a uh, catch rate. <laughs> it's it's paralyzed. It's asleep. It's got one HP. You still can't catch it. That's Beldum. She's the leader of the three shadows. Back again. Max HP is 30, attack is 5, and defense is 0. Her special move is a Blizzard Blast. If it hits you, you'll totally freeze. She has lots of other tricks up her sleeves, too. I wonder what the plan w what that plan was that she mentioned. What do you think they're up to? Got a style on her. <laughs> that is 42. Almost at a level up. Uh, at this rate, she will never. Oof. Uh. Uh. Oof. I don't know. I don't think we'll. I don't think we'll reach level 31. No. 32. 30 will give us 93 BP. 31 will give us 96, and 32 will give us 99. We would literally have to fight an amazing daisy somewhere. Or get enough experience. Oh, we, we actually might. Uh, in the next two boss fights. And we can't lower our FP because it is already at at the lowest. Remember, we have that FP plus badge. <gasps> yeah, Zooks. Uh, let me open the door for for Nina. Hey, Nina. I'm sorry. I think we gotta we gotta play another Pokemon game. Eventually. What are you doing, Nina?
it's you. What's up, Nina? Moon. Ugh. Yeah, I, I gotta... We, we gotta do... Ultra Sun or Ultra Moon. That's what we gotta do. We gotta we gotta finish. I gotta finish. One or the other. Yeah, cause like moon and then Ultra Moon and then you know Sun, Ultra Sun. It, it's it's basically the same plot. It just changes up a little bit the later we go in the Ultra versions. I could be wrong. Playing non Ultra Moon with Elise, she still has non Ultra Sun. Since I already did all the Ultras with Ares. It is all the Ultras. Ooh, purple. Can you let me see the screen, please? Come here. What are you doing, Nina? How's it going? Yeah, I think in terms of Pokemon games I've played, we've done Gen 1, we still got to finish the Emerald Randomizer, but I just saw the pipes too, but I don't know, man, I don't know. We could just redo Gen 3. I could just re replay Emerald without, like, the randomizer stuff. Like, or, or do it again, but, like, randomize everything. Nina, you, you saboteur. Emerald Nuz? <laughs> we could do an Emerald Nuz. What's, what's with all the bitings and the going on, Z's? Well, it was either Ultra Moon or Moon. Mario became a superstar. Next battle, Mario's crowd and stage get even bigger. Yeah, I feel like if I were to do Sun or Moon, it's going to be the Ultra version. Yeah, so it'll, it'll, we'll, we'll do Ultra Moon. I don't I don't mind jumping back and forth uh, generations there you are Whoop. Uh, 
Now, a TV show about Pokemon in this house in the game is talking about how many Pokeballs it took you to catch it. <laughs> this just in, Old Man Trainer took nine Pokeballs to catch a Machoke. Was it Machoke? Machop? To catch Pokemon at 1% HP. Choke, Machoke. In other news, local 10 year old from Palatown just became the champion. Shit. <laughs> what have I done with my life? Uh, one zero one one zero one zero. Okay. So the one is on and the zero is off. So one zero one one zero one zero. It's binary. Right? One's on? I think so. Back in bed. Nice. All cozied up. Moon will be dark when it's daytime for you locally. Yeah, Moon is gonna be nighttime practically the whole time. Unless we do a random day stream in Saturday or Sunday. Wait, no, but wouldn't it, if I play... Yeah, no, 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 never mind, never mind. I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. Yeah, because my time should be synced up. Yeah, so if I play Moon, it's going to be daytime when I play in the evening, and then... Uh, nighttime when I play in in the day, right? That's how it works. Yeah. Didn't bother you having to play Moon again. Yeah, I, I don't mind. I I, I enjoyed. Pokemon Moon, but then getting Ultra Sun, like, what was it, like, a year later? I was like, I don't want to play this fucking game. It's the same game. <laughs> but Rainbow Rock, you're right, that was, that was my motivation until I started playing more, and I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. But I know you guys will keep me motivated when I stream uh, Ultra Moon. Yeah, Shiny. Okay, so uh, here's the thing for Shining Force. I was trying to set it up yesterday with the enhanced mod which has the terrain working properly uh item passing so if max's inventory is filled up he'll give it to someone else and uh overflowing experience so if you go if you level up whatever experience after 100 will fill in like like fire emblem basically uh i try to have it work on my ever drive it does not work at all, I'm having issues with it. So I think what I'm gonna do is either A, 
keep playing the modded version on the Sega Genesis collection, or B, start over and get to where I, where I left off on the EverDrive. I'm fine with either option. So like on the one hand, playing it through the, the Genesis collection, we can't save normally. We have quick we have to quick save, but we have fast forward option. Uh, if we play it on the EverDrive, so it's on an actual console, we can save because it'll just be the original version. Uh, and then, but there's no fast forward. Uh, I don't mind either option. It, it's cool for me. Was that a battery indicator? Yes. It's dying. It's it's low on battery. It's gonna is gonna is gonna drain. Anyways, well, <laughs> not sure. I'm sure it'll be fine. We just got the indicator, so we got what? Uh, a good amount of time left. Uh, it's fine. I have a a cable here, so I can just plug it into the the switch if the battery dies. We're good. We'll see how far how far this goes. I feel like there's an 86 master. I feel there's an 86.3% chance that your battery is low. Don't worry, Fi. We're we're good. It's fine. Please change the battery or charge it up as soon as possible. Yeah, we're we're, we're good, Fi. It's all good. She means well. We can't hold on to these items. What are we going to chuck? We don't need that. Uh, we'll give it a bobbery. I can't wait to, to do Skyward Sword HD. I've been holding off on doing that for a long time. But it's gonna happen. Uh, we got some more... More stuff. Okay, yeah, we're good. <laughs> That's all we need. Yeah, I can't I can't wait. I've been holding off on it, but it's gonna happen eventually. I wanted to replay Ocarina of Time again because uh that ship of Harkinian mod or PC port uh, I added a there was a a mod that has the 3DS style so I just slapped it on there and it looks it looks pretty good so you know I, I want to jump into that I want to stream that and they also did a decomp uh, version of Majora's Mask as well so, you know, we can enjoy Majora's Mask in 60 FPS. And it looks good. It's it's nice. There's also options to uh, have the owl statue save 
like never disappear and also to uh, save from exiting the menu like in Ocarina of Time where you just pause, press B, lets you save, boom. But I think with that it starts you at either the beginning of a dungeon if you're inside or uh, the screen that you're in if you're in a dungeon. I'll, I'll have to double check that. But it's, uh, it's really nice since it's the N64 version. But, you know, Trap doesn't, you know, doesn't want that shit. So we'll have to throw those in. We'll sprinkle those in as we <laughs> play other stuff. <laughs> Jeepers, this room gives me a ba super bad feeling, Mario. What is this chamber? Too fidgeting to sit down and play more Minish. You just couldn't today. Play five minutes, put it down. 30 minutes later, pick it up for another five minutes. Yeah, that's... That, that's how I've been... I've been playing stuff. I would be playing Cyber, uh, Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth for like a couple minutes and then do something else. And then come back to it. And then do something else and then come back to it. <laughs> we finally meet Mario. Yeah, the, 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 the stuff I was doing in Cyber Sleuth is just grinding to digivolve into stronger Digimon and then grinding the levels to get them stronger then de-digivolve them and then digivolve into a stronger version and just lots of grinding but it's fun but I'm doing all of that stuff so that when I stream it on New Game Plus we'll have all of the the stuff we need to just do quick grinding sessions uh, at any given time it'll be like it, literally 5-10 minutes of grinding and then we progress so it's, it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be great it's gonna take me a while to get there but it's gonna be great trap will love it good good grinding sessions every now and then we finally meet mario i'm looking forward to this i must admit so this chump is the leader of those x knots yes correct but yeah, flip-flopping around is doesn't make for good recordings. <laughs> I am the supreme leader of the secret society of x knots I am Grotus. But I'm getting ahead of myself. I really must express my thanks to you first. And do you know why? You've gathered together all of the crystal stars I was seeking. No, so the last crystal star we found on the moon. What did we do? <laughs> you just realize now, do you? Yes, instead of taking the few crystal star crystal stars stairs, the crystal stairs you fools had bumbled into. It was far easier to let you find them all and open the thousand year door for me. I went on to work on getting those stairs. <laughs> How kind of you to bring them all here to me. All I had to do was entrust the last crystal star, Staya, to my least competent underling. I don't suppose Crump had any idea of my plan, though. <laughs> so whether he beat you or lost to you, the crystal Stayas will be together and mine either way. Pure genius. Yeah, Gross is straight up evil. I feel no resentment kicking his ass. Now, I thought the, sh the three shadows would do a little more to slow your progress. But it appears they are so useless that even this small task was beyond them. No matter. Now I get the pleasure of sending you to Oblivion. Be careful, Mario. This jerk looks totally nasty. Once you fools are gone, no one will stand in my way. Brodus will rule the world. No way we let that happen. Now come. Meet your ends, you meddlesome fools. You will know my power.
you know, it's too bad we don't have a full party battle. That'd be nice. That's a Grotus X. It protects Grotus. Max HP 3, attack is 4, defense 0. This guy has no problem on its own, but Grotus' defense goes up for each of them. When he has 4 surrounding him, we won't be able to damage him at all. So let's dish out some hurt to them while we pound on Grotus. Got it? Yeah, beat his ass. Boy the bully. Kick his ass, sea bass. Put him in the body bag, Jen. I forgot to try to dot <laughs> forgot to try to guard that. <laughs> Put him in the body bag, Johnny. Sweep the leg. That's Grotus. He's the head of the x knots who kidnapped Peach. Max HP 50, attack is 7, defense is 1. But when he has Grotus X's surrounding him, his defense will go up by that number. He may also use electricity, fire, and time stopping magic. That doesn't sound good. Still, he's a totally weird guy. Why is he so intense and serious all the time? I guess we don't have time to worry about that. Let's beat him and find Peach. Yeah, where's where's Rockhawk to hand me the chair? <laughs> and his name is John Cena. Oh, well, there's Grotus. Oh, no. 22. Well, not 22, uh, sorry, 28. There you go, Nina. Yeah, we're not gonna get to the next level. <laughs> Unfortunate. Ugh, you are more than you seem. Well, this is not finished. I saw even this possibility. Huh? Oh, you, that's why you want to step out. I'm sorry. There you go. She didn't like my poorly uh, trumpet noises. Watch this. Yeah, sadness. Oh, well. Where am I? Mario! Princess Peach? Uh, you know what? I should have talked to, I think, Merlovely. Uh, I think her magic will give us a chance to get more experience. Or other stuff. It, it doesn't... It, it could be anything. But experience is, is the good one. Oh well. Move one step and she will breathe no more. You wouldn't. Now try this. Oh, zero. Well, there we go. I'm sure that that, that was definitely more than five HP. Mario! Yeah. <laughs> now, again. Yeah. Mer, Mer, I think it's Mer Lovely that, that gives us the charm. M Mario. Oh, what do we do, Mario? We're totally done for if we don't attack him. We can't attack because he's got Peach. Nothing we can do. If only we, if only there was a hero who could save us. We need a hero. Stop your blubbering. This is it. Meet your end. <laughs> what? <gasps> is it? Arr! There he is. Our hero. Oh. Bowser. Ugh. That was a surprise. I didn't think I'd fall. Crummy ancient tower construction. 
Your impactfulness. Are you okay? All right, we're still good. Yeah, still, still a little green. Why is Mario here? And Peach as well. I don't know what's going on here, but I'm gonna put an end to it right now. Mario, first I pound you, then I take the princess, and then the crystal stars. What? This is totally unfair. All this and Bowser too? <laughs> oh, all worn out from battle, Mario. Yes, easy pickings. Today's the day I flush a plumber down the drain. So a good strat, if you're A, not doing Danger Mario stats, or B, are doing Danger Mario stats, but you know, stuff happened. Like you're low on FP, right? Uh, if you're able to time your star points uh, so you get the level up after beating Grotus, you'll be fully healed for this Bowser fight. So it's, it's, it's good to know. It's good to keep track of your star points. Uh, especially in this situation. Just a little tip. <laughs> What's a finale without a Bowser appearance, huh? A cruddy finale, that's what. I hold still while I trounce you and take my peach. Mario, you sniveling bug. This is it. For you. <laughs> well, we're just gonna... buff up. Pumped up. So we're gonna take out Kami Koopa first. That's Kami Koopa. She's an evil old witch who's always helping Bowser out. Max HP is 50, attack is 5, and defense is 0. She uses magic to raise her attack and defense, or get electrified or invisible. When her HP gets low, she may also use magic to restore HP. Magic is totally annoying, so take her, take her out before you focus on Bowser. Still, you got a feel for her having to hang out with Bowser all the time. Or do you think Bowser has a harder time enduring her? All good questions. Poor Goombella. Nice. Forgive me, Lord Bowser. I have nothing left. That's Bowser. Genius. You've only fought this guy like a bazillion times. He'll keep kidnapping Peach, and you'll keep fighting him until the end of time, I think. Max HP is 70, attack 7, defense 2. In addition to his fire breath, he jumps on you and bites. If you get jumped on, you'll be unable to use a command for a little while. Oh, and his bite sometimes poisons you as well. I don't know what Bowser's doing here, but we gotta defeat him quick. Lucky, lucky us. Yeah. Oof, twenty eight as well. We got sixty four star points, though. You know, that's definitely a sign. 
Whoa! How could this happen? Phew, that was hairy. At least we settled that dweeb's hash. Now let's save Peach, okay, Mario? What? Where's Grotus? That was Peach. A secret door right behind the throne. Unbelievable. Uh, we need health, but I don't want to waste the ten, the ten coins I have. There we go. He deserves the ultra shroom, Goombella. We're not gonna use it. Might as well let our party members have it. Oh, sweet jam and jelly. <sighs> Just two more levels and we would have gotten 99. Oh well. What could have been? Too bad for you, Mario. You're too late. What's going on? <laughs> Look well, in the coffin behind me sleeps the legendary treasure. This tomb holds the soul of that ancient demon, the wielder of destruction. And the crystal stars you brought here will undo the seal. The demon soul will possess Peach's body and bring life to the most powerful witch in millennia. That's why you nabbed her? Mario, I'm so sorry sending you that map. Caused all of this trouble, didn't it? <laughs> With the power of the witch, I will rule this pathetic world. The time has come at last. The world will be mine. Yeah, what Peach doesn't know is that the seal was weakening anyways. So, it's not her fault. Now arise! Arise, my Shadow Queen. God, the lighting looks so much nicer in the remake. Damn, looks really good. God, it's so creepy. The little hands, shadow hands. Spoopy. Uh, uh, hmm, uh, what's going on? Brother? The sky. It's... Not Glitzville. What's all this? The sky. It's turning dark. Who has called me back? It is I, my Shadow Queen. You. Very well. Where is the vessel? 
It is here. This girl who lies before you. Yes. A fine vessel. Now. Uh, yeek. Uh, not that much difference in Twilight Town. Just a little darker. That's it. <laughs> ah, help me. What's all this then? Am I to deduce this, that this is the end of the world? was that something terrible has happened no could the demon of legend have truly awakened no this is unthinkable you gotta haul ass professor frankly <laughs> Witness my rebirth. Witness me. My brother was watching Mad Max the other day, and I just thought of the dude that goes, Witness me. <laughs> my soul has not yet fully accustomed to this vessel. But I will learn to control this body soon enough. Teach. Yes, my glorious Shadow Queen. Destroy this, these impudent fools. Who are you that would command me? What sort of being are you? Huh? What do you mean? I thought you were bound to obey the one who woke you. Enough of this prattle. Do as I say. Now, or I'll send you to the depth. Oh, dead. You would do well to learn your proper place, slave. No one commands me. Nope. Just walk right out of there. <laughs> my, po my powers are not yet fully restored. But they will come in time. Yeah, that's... That's the look right there. <laughs> What's going on, Mario? I... I don't... My queen! And Duplis. You have returned to us. Ah, Beldum. What ages have passed? So, you are the one who truly responsible for calling me back. Yes? Yes, my queen. I searched for a pure heart that you might inhabit. And as I did, I spread the rumor of a great treasure. Then I led the fools who had gathered the crystal stars here to open the seal. Yes, you have fulfilled your duties admirably. I'm not worthy, my queen. And who are these beings that stand before me? Yes. They appear to possess some modicum of power and may be of some use. Mortals, if you will become my faithful servants, I will not harm you. What do we do, Mario? I mean, no way can we agree to serve her. I mean, you know... <laughs> no. Of course not. Plus, I don't want to go through all this these cutscenes again. <laughs> I see, so you defy me. How amusing. 
Then, you wretched fools, you will learn the error of your ways. Now we're still good. We'll survive. We'll live. The battery will live. I believe. If the battery dies, it just shows that the Wiimote battery life is a lot better than the Pro Controller for the Switch. But not as good as this lovely specimen that is the Wii U Pro Controller. This thing's still going strong. I literally charge that thing like once a month. That's not an exaggeration. I like about once a month I charge it. You are foolish to oppose me. Yes, and that foolishness will have to be punished. Mario, if we don't defeat her now, the world is lost. So don't even think of it as Peach. You gotta fight with everything we have. Let's go. Yeah, plays best on Wii U. And my Steam Deck. Oh, it's such a good controller for my Steam Deck, because... I play... I play a lot on it. Oh my gosh, what happened? I can't believe Peach got possessed. That's awful. Now she's... The Shadow Queen, the demon that destroyed this town a thousand years ago. Max HP is 150, attack is 7, and defense is 0. She'll unleash big lightning attacks. She'll also use magic to raise attack and defense, or to absorb HP. She might even try to drag us into the darkness. I don't feel good about attacking Peach, but we have to do something. Don't think of it as Peach, we just have to fight to the end. Come on! Tink, tink. Oh, I thought it was gonna be tink tinks. Okay, now we're good. It's not tink tink just yet. Oh, sorry, Goombella. I, I wasn't quick on the on the draw. Anyway, we're back. Ooh, the style. Styled on her. Hmm. So, you are not weak. Maybe you are less useless than you appear. This body is unfamiliar to me. Yes, too unfamiliar. Let me assume my true form and show you real power. In this form, your attacks are like those of a child to me. You are lucky. You will perish with the honor of having seen true terror and power. <laughs> what? I don't believe it. Alright, I believe it. <laughs> Is that your idea of an attack? Foolish. Struggle as you might, it won't be enough. Whew. Oh, my god. Good luck he's in a row. Not even a stylish jump damage her. It's over. <laughs> now taste my power. Whew. 
Hey, get out of here. What's the matter with you? You get a goo. What a troublesome little pest you are. <laughs> oh, there goes the audience. The, to the pits of hell. Yes, I have recovered from any slight damage I've taken. Hey Bob, how's it going? How you doing? What, what's, what's the update? And now... How I will punish you for your resistance. Mario, what are we supposed to do now? We could totally be we could we could be totally done for. I will ask you again, will you serve me? If so, I will forgive you for this. People found have found code. Uh, some people unlock the frame rate to learn the game jumps between 40 to 60 FPS depending on scenarios. Ah. Okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> Very well. Then you will perish. I also found a 4K mode. Weird. Switch can't output in 4K. Unless, you know, it's the Switch 2. The Switch Pro... The Switch 2 Pro Electric Boogaloo. What? What is this? The Crystal Stars? Ah. Yeah, the, the Switch Pro 2 Electric Boogaloo that won't be in the next Nintendo Direct. You know, Nintendo said it's not going to be on there. It's not. We'll probably find out about it, or hear from them talking about it at a later time. Or, you know, they're just saying like, oh, it's not gonna happen, we're not gonna talk about it. And for the last thing, the Nintendo Switch Pro 2 Electric Boogaloo Mach 5. Like, we did it, guys. We, we figured out blast processing power. <laughs> hmm, now. What's this shiny thing? Mayor, it's the crystal star. But I thought Mario had this thing. Ooh, vocals. Well, a cappella, but you know, still. I wonder, kids, if this is related to the sky getting all dark and whatnot. Hmm, you may be right, but I don't know. But if anything's happened to my boy, Coops and Mario... Oh dear. Coops, you're okay, right? You promised me you'd come back okay. Yeah, now, now, now it's a rock ballad. No one's on that power guitar. Whoa, the Crystal Star! What in the world? What's that doing here? This is very mysterious. Yes, a mystery that... Snap out of it, Elder! Brother, Mario's in trouble! That's what the Crystal Star is here to tell us. I just know it. What? Could it be? Hey, you're right, Petuni. I can hear. I can hear it. The Crystal Star is speaking to us. It's telling us that Mario is fighting to save the world, and he's in deep trouble. Mario, Flurry, come on, don't give up. Yeah, you can do it, guys. Gonzalez, 
I mean, Mario. I know you're fighting far away right now. For us. For all of us. This crystal star has told us of your last brave stand. Maybe we can't do much to help you. But we're thinking of you. All our wishes are for you. For your victory. Ugh. Yeah, yeah. Feel it. Rock out, Great Gonzalez. Rock! Listen to me, Gonzalez. Anybody who's beat me is not allowed to lose. That's right. You, Star, tell that shrimp that beat us to never give in. Fight! We're sending you all our strength, G-Man. You feeling the love out here? Gonzalez! That's the only one we need. King K. That, that's, that's, that's what's giving us all the power here. Fight on, Mario. Just a little bit more than our than our best buddy, Rockhawk. Don't you give up, Mario. Yeah, never give in. Mario, you may feel like it's going rough, like the tides have shifted against you. But if you lose, the world will be plunged into darkness forever. Please, don't give in. Vivian was her name, right? I'm a bit worried about the girl that was with Mario. I hope they're both okay. They'll be fine, all of you. Mario will never give up. Mario will stand true. I... I still remember how easily he took care of that monster who had cursed us. We must have faith in him. We must believe that light will return to our world. Yeah, even the birds, the crows. Mario, don't give up! Ah, uh, come on, you bilge pumps! I can't bloom an ear ya! Fight, Bobbery, fight! Once more! Go, go, go! Admiral Bobbery, show him what a real sea bomb's made out of, mate. I do hope they're all okay. Do not fear, my dear. Luigi is my finest pupil. I'm quite sure he'll prevail. Well, I worry nonetheless. I so hope that I so hope there is a future in which my little bub can grow and prosper. Well then, I suppose all we can do is give him a rousing cheer, hmm? Yes, certainly. I'm quite sure he can hear us through the power of this crystal. Darn right, Dad. Go, Gonzalez. Go get him. Yeah, we'll, we'll let the, the kid saying the D word. We'll let it go. <laughs> huh? Mario? Gonzalez? Not Luigi? Poor Pennington. <laughs> Poor Penguinton. We are assembled, Mar uh, Mayor. Okay. Good work, my comrades. Now, let us do it. Mario! Mario, you can do it. Is that? Can you hear them, Mario? So many voices. Now yeah, we're still good, battery. 
They're... They're all sending us their wishes and positive energy. It is so totally cool. Oh, what? What are these vile voices? Mario, look at that. What is this light? Oh. 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 It's too bright. Mario. That voice. Princess Peach? Mario, I... What? You wretched little girl, you disobey me? Mario. Take... Take the last of my power. Oh yeah, we got all our FP, that's all we need. <laughs> what is this? I feel like totally full of energy now. You brat, obey me girl. Farewell, Mario. I believe in you. Peach. Urgh. Very cunning, princess. But you will not undo me. Know me as your queen. Nah. Mario, this is it. We're almost done. Enough. This ends now. She's not wrong. Yeah. Let me just play a little, little quick mini game first. Yeah, there we go. That's a Shadow Queen. Wow, she's scary, but we gotta hold our ground. Max HP is 150, attack 7, defense 1. She'll use lightning magic and boost her own attack and defense power. And if she uses her breath on us, we could be poisoned, confused, or lose power-ups. But the worst is when she saves energy for a big attack. That is gnarly. We do our best to just avoid it by hiding in the shadows with Vivian, I think. Boy, and not only is her body scarier, but her hands are pretty mean as well. She has several attack patterns, so watch closely to see what's coming. Now, Mario, let's do it. This is it, our final battle. Let's give it all we've got. Oh, well, it's over. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's that's fine. I was gonna rally wink anyways. And we got the bingo. Last bingo of the game. Let's go. HP, FP, and star power are all full. And we got a full audience. Woo! 
200 coins. Impossible. Unthinkable. How could I? I cannot be beaten by lesser beings such as these. I had just been reborn into this world. I cannot. I must not. I... My queen. Go. Oh. No! Let's get out of here, Marilyn. Uh -huh. Hey! Hey! Hey, wait! Princess Peach! Peach is totally okay. She's not even hurt. Ugh. Ugh. Mario? So, it's all over then. I'm so sorry, Mario. Who knew all this would happen? Ah, oh, it's totally okay, Peach. It was like, no big deal. Thank you. All of you. Aha! There you are, Mario! Well, well, can you believe those brutes even came after me, an old Goomba? But I still made it here. I was so worried about you all. You have no idea. By the looks of things, though, I guess we're in the clear, am I right? You kids sure are the real thing, I tell you. Yes, I seem to be in one piece too, so all is well. So, without further ado, take a look at this. I found this on the way. This must be the treasure we heard rumors in rumors of in Rogueport. My theory has been correct all these years. There really was a legendary treasure. Oh, Professor, frankly. No, don't bring me down now. It might be something great, and all's well that ends well. Now, how about we all get out of this dank place? Mm-hmm. Hmm. hmm. Let's go home, Mario. Back to everyone. Let's let's pop open that chest and see what's in there. Just a note. The real treasure was the friends we made along the way. <laughs> so, you're leaving then. Well, that's too bad. Having you around really did wonders for my research. Ah, Professor, we never let you monopolize Mario for your research anyway. Besides, you said I could be your research assistant for next term. Hmm. Yes, that's right. And I thank you, Goombella. Mario, even after you leave here, please don't forget about us, alright? And we, in return, will wish that you find all the best in the future. Never ever give up, Mario. That's the most important thing I learned from you. Thanks, Mario. Just promise me you'll think of me now and again, okay? Uh, Mario, thanks to you, I found courage and inner strength. I don't know how to say this, but I think I like myself more since I've known you. It's like, I've become a tiny bit more like my dad, you know. It's also hard to put into words. Uh... My dear, dear Mario, I am ready to make my comeback in the theater now. I found so many things on this journey that I can only express on stage. And with these new themes, I am so ready for that wonderful spotlight again. 
please do come see me once we finish rehearsing. And bring Peach too, dear. Gonzalez. Oh, yeah, wait. I gotta stop doing that. It's Mario, right? Well, you'll always be Gonzalez to me, man. Because I was born in the Glitz Pit, and Gonzalez is and always will be the champ. So let's meet again, Gonzalez. I mean it, man. Uh, Mario, I... I feel... I feel like I've grown to look... Uh, yeah, uh, never mind. Yeah, I sure do think that you and Peach make a nice couple. Hmm. <laughs> I... I'll never forget my time traveling with you. So, don't forget me either. Well, old boy, it was most agreeable that I had the chance to meet you. If not for you, then my dear Scarlet would still gaze down on a broken bob -omb. Now I'm off to sea again. I know Scarlet would have wanted it that way. Let's see each other again, Mario. And this time, let it be on the high seas, old boy. Well, it is time for us to part, my little cheese hunk. But I will not say farewell. Because you're welcome here anytime. And since you're welcome, you should come anytime you please, sweetie. Now, be careful, and until we meet again, adieu. Well, the boat's almost here. Mario! The mushrooms for the trip. Ah, we made it just in time. Take these with you. We brought them so you'd have something to eat on the boat. Yummy. These are very fresh mushrooms. Oh, how lovely. Thank you. Everyone. If not for all of you, the world would have fallen into a horrible darkness. But your brave hearts strove for peace. And saved this world. I don't know how to thank you, but know that the entire world is in your debt. What? Nonsense! We're the ones who should be thanking you, princess. If you hadn't come to our little town... We'd all be puppets for the Shadow Queen and Grotus. The thought gives me hives. Ah, look, your highness, I see the boat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, forgive my lateness, sir. I must have dozed off a bit. <laughs> Please, come on board. I'll get you folks back at full steam. Take care, everyone. Farewell. Set a course for the Mushroom Kingdom. They are all such lovely people, don't you think? I don't have too many good memories of Rogueport, what with the kidnapping and all. But it really is a vibrant town full of love for life, isn't it? Mario, I was very frightened when they took me. But... Well, Tech was really there for me and, get, and helped me get through it all. And I knew that you would come to help me as well. I always believe in that. Thank you, Mario. I... Maybe I shouldn't wander off by myself quite so often. Oh, look at that. We're gonna get the best view ever. Mario, look out there. Rogue Port's positively shining. It's so beautiful. Look at that. Ah, such a good looking game. Ah, yeah, we're still good. Still got enough battery for the credits.
Oh, wow, that's wild, bro. You had a pretty rough of it, rough time of it, didn't you? I like that we have the pictures of both party members from 64 and Thousand Year Door. Now that Peach is safe, I guess everything's okay. Really, though, how amazing is it that you saved the world again? Again, bro. And say, it's been a little while since then. Are you ready for a new adventure? Oh, yes. Yeah, you're the man, bro. I wonder what everyone, what everyone who traveled with you is up to. Whoa, what was that, bro? Was that your newfangled mail gadget? Dear Mario, what's up? Goombella here. I'm still here working with Professor Frankly. We beat the Shadow Queen, but there's tons of Rogueport lore we still don't get. So my research with the Professor goes on and on. With the info I gathered with you, we have lots of great leads now, though. Mario, like I always said, every myth contains a kernel of truth. Azad, how's it going? Yes! Finale. It's credits time now. <laughs> Speaking of which, know what was in that chest that the professor recovered? How you doing, Zod? Hope you're feeling, feeling a little good. You're totally not going to believe me when I tell you. It's... A secret. <laughs> but I'll tell you the next time I see you. It's going good? I got to hear that, Zod. Doing... Doing the work for democracy. Taking out those stinking bugs. As part of my research, I did go back to many of the places we visited. I saw everyone we traveled with, too. Koops is living peacefully in Petalburg with his dad and Koopy Koo. And Mario. Guess what Koops wants to do now? He wants to become mayor of Petalbury and live there in peace. Can you imagine? Still, it might just be perfect for him, come to think of it. He's so much more of an adult now than when you left Rogueport. Yeah, good old trollist trap. <laughs> Still, I think Koopy Koop pretty much has him wrapped around her little finger. Flory is back on stage in a big way, and the crowds are totally ecstatic. I think out of all the character themes, Madame Flory's is my favorite. Especially in the remake. And the play she's doing right now is the story of our adventure. Yeah. It's called Paper Mario. I saw it twice. It was totally the best play ever. And somehow, Duplass has joined the troupe as an actor. Who saw that coming? His transformation skills are serving him well, but it still kind of creeps me out. Oh, and little Thieven. Yeah, he's fighting Soul in the Glitz Pit. He says he's getting pretty close to a title match, even. Isn't that just adorable? Oh yeah, he's calling himself the Great Gonzalez Jr. in the ring, by the way. It's sort of silly, but kind of cute too, don't you think? Oh, and wait, I have to get this exactly right or he'll get, like, so mad at me. He, uh, said that he could totally take you in the ring now, so bring it. I guess he doesn't change. Isn't that too cute? Vivian's gone back to hang out with her sisters. She wants to give them another chance. Now that the Shadow Queen has been defeated, I don't think Bedlam's into evil. Oh, and Beldam also promised me she would never be mean to Vivian ever again. Yep. 
I think the three sisters are going to live pretty peacefully from now on. But you should totally go visit her sometime. Although Bob Reese is pretty up there too. Uh, Bobbery goes out to sea every day now on Cortez's ship. I think his soul is healed. I ran into him on Keelhaul Key by accident the other day, which was nice. I was so happy, I thought he was going to blow up on me for a second there. You know, I bet Scarlet is looking down on him and smiling right now. Oh, and I almost forgot. Everyone on Keelhaul Key as well, and they say hello. Miss Miles is still running the bad shop in Rogueport, so she's happy. She comes over to Frankly's sometimes to visit. But, as usual, as soon as she sets foot outside the shop, she turns into a badge ninja. Uh, she said just the other day that she has found some super rare badge, actually. That's our globe-trotting mystery-making, flirting little badge thief, huh? If only we were that agile. Oh yeah! X. My travels, I heard a rumor that Lord Crump and Grotus were both still alive. I guess that makes them pretty tenacious baddies, doesn't it, Mario? But they've mellowed a lot, just like Beldum has, and I don't expect more trouble. Plus, I hear Grotus is just ahead, which really cuts down on mischief making. Speaking of miracle survivals, guess whose favorite calculator is still computing? You gonna get ready for bed, switch you to phone? Over the phone? Ah, it's all good, Zach. Take your time. He says he really wants to see you in Peach again. How close are you to done? Uh, once we finish Goombella's little... She's almost done, and then however long the credits play. Maybe five, ten minutes, I guess? Maybe? Well, I guess I'm... Well, I'm totally rambling at this point, so I guess I'd better I'd better wrap it up. I just want to say, even though things got tough, I'm grateful for our time together. And there is one thing that kind of weighed on me, and I never got to express to you. Yeah, we're almost done. See, I... Well, maybe that's best kept a secret. So, please say hi to Peach for me, okay? Till we meet again, your friend, Goombella. Hey, that's awesome, bro. Sounds like everyone's doing great over there. Oh, yeah. Huh? Someone here. Excuse me, sirs. Hello, Mario. Hello, Luigi. Please allow me to apologize for coming unannounced, but... I was cleaning out the storeroom in the castle the other day, and... I found something rather amazing. Yes, Toadsworth found a treasure map. And I'm sure it will lead to real treasure this time. I just know it. So Mario, you'd love to look for treasure, isn't that right? The boat's waiting for you. Nah, look at that, I like this. Fuck, that's a lot of pages.
Oh, look at this. I like this. Yeah, there it is, the credits. That's nice. I really like the how they did the credits in, in the remake. All the star players, star actors, giving their, you know, their wrap-up. Gross. That's sick in public too. <laughs> yeah, we did it. We finished Thousand Year Door remake. We probably could have finished this yesterday, but nah. I'm glad I did it. I'm glad I waited for for today. Came in, fresh, start of the last chapter and just finished the game. About a little over 30 hours it took. But not too bad, this is a pretty decent sized game. Just for an RPG. Like, there's lots to explore, lots to do. Chapters are great. Blitz Pit chapter is my favorite. Chapter chapter five is also great because we get Bobbery. And you know we're. Uh, we're in, a, in an island searching for treasure. Macho Grubba. And that's when we get Bobbery so we can finally start bombing stuff once the chapter's over. I really did enjoy a good amount of the changes. Especially with chapter 4. There there wasn't as much backtracking in that chapter. And there's our boy Cortez. He's not a bad ghost, he's just... He's just been, he's just been bored for like the past god knows how long. Is this it? Is he finally leaving? Yep. He's ascended. <laughs> Ghosty is one of my favorite NPCs. When you give him the diary, he's like, Alright, I'm leaving. Bye. I'm gonna move on. Angelic music plays. He's rising. Eh, you know what? Never mind. I don't want to go. I'll, I'll, I'll stay here a little longer. <laughs> like, I can leave whenever I want. I do like how... In some of the shots here, we have more than one party member. Yeah, see like here, it'd be so cool if we had that in the actual, like, game. But you know, that's it's probably too much to do. You have to have some more dialogue for that.
But you know, it's cool that we got those in like screenshots here. But yeah, I like this because it's it's like this whole thing was an actual play. And there's Luigi doing the wave. And we got streamers, confetti. That's nice. 30 hours, 53 minutes. Not bad. Not bad. All things considering. We, we at least got to do the little revisit here. Oh, and battery's dead. Hey, it lasted this long, right? Let me go get the... My my charger or my cable. Oof! It lasted since we started a thousand year door. Like so, when when we first started thousand year door, I had it charging, and it's been like that since so we started this thousand year door with like this we're ending it like this you're a strange one sir it must be something special to convince you to return <laughs> although if i had a goomba that cute waiting for me at the dock i might return too <laughs> well whatever you're doing be careful goodbye sir Long time no see, Mario. I'm totally glad I got to see you again. This is awesome. Everyone's ready. We heard you were coming, so we've been waiting here for we've been waiting here for you. So, are you ready to go? Wherever you want to go, we are so there with you. That's it. Now we can just do whatever we want to do. We did it. Look at that, we got art pieces. Look at that, that's so cool. See, I like I like it when we get stuff like this. Art, concept designs. Like a lot of the stuff here, we gotta collect the star pieces in, in from each chapter, so it incentivizes collecting all the things. This is all pretty cool. I, I would like to have a, a game in a style of crude paper, paper drawings. <laughs> Got a sound gallery. Well, let's start from chapter 6 in front of the thousand year door and collect all the shine sprites from that chapter to unlock. Okay, so we're missing two shine sprites and one he three. Uh, yeah, I kind of already knew that. I like that it tells you where. This is cool. We literally have like a bunch of stuff that we can we can do. 
like collect all the things. Collect all the things, do the troubles. Okay, we, there's still more troubles to do. But, like, I'm not going to do that. Well, I'm not going to stream it. It's kind of start to finish. Ah, this is nice, though. This is nice. All right. That's it. That's Thousand in Your Door Remake. I'm just going to be collecting the things at my leisurely pace. And that's it. So, yeah. Uh, Wednesday will be starting Paper Mario 64 on the N64. Uh, I'll be busting out the N64 for that. We could play it on Switch. Uh... We do have the the Nintendo Switch Online, but I'm just gonna have the actual hard drive for for this. Man, I haven't touched this in forever. Oh, we got Jet Force Gemini. Well, that's kind of rad. Oh, Blast Corp. Yo, I remember Blast Corpse. I haven't played that in forever. Yeah, a bunch of stuff. Yeah, see, we could play it here, but I'll... I'll be doing that on the actual N64. Just cuz, right? Cuz why not? Alright, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate it. Yeah, Blast Corpse is fun, but yeah, it definitely does... does get difficult. Uh, right, I was looking, uh, Eagle Falcon is streaming some more Final Fantasy XIV. Just doing some, some stuff. I don't know what he's doing, some questing. I'll send you all over there. Thanks for hanging out, appreciate it. Paper Mario 64 will start on Wednesday. And then after that, we'll do Shining Force, we'll continue that. And then Saturday and Sunday we'll be starting a Union Chronicles 100 Heroes on the PS5. I'm, I'm so excited. Like I'm finally going to play that Suikoden successor game. Finally. Can't wait. Alright guys, have a great rest of your night, rest of your day. I will catch you guys next time. Take it easy.